Hello everyone and welcome back to For Dummies KH. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about hacks and hack CMS. That's right, we're back on the topic of content management systems, but this one is a little different than the ones we've used in the past. I've made videos on WordPress and Drupal, but this is a lot more simple. So I have for you a little page that I've set up just about what, what's hacks, what's the CMS, my thoughts on it and swagger, which I'll get into. And this, well, that's where the video is going to go, but um, hacks CMS is very easy to use. Um, it stands for headless authorizing, sorry, headless authoring experience. And it's really easy for somebody to use, even if they have no coding experience. Um, what it basically does is um, hacks will express advanced functionality through a single tag in order to build itself. And um, hacks sites, sites created through hacks can be used without hacks once they're already set up because what hacks does is it'll organize the HTML of the page that you write it on. Um, so you, you can use it anywhere after you've made it on hacks. And um, just using hacks is so easy. Like in order to, to add a page, all, everything's right here. Just add a page, I'll make one example. Page, then you can go down here and edit page content, blah, blah, blah. can save your page it, it, like adding a page editing it is so easy and deleting is even more easy there's a delete button over here it's just super easy um so hack cms is a static site generator that leverages server technology to create a static site surprise surprise um and like i said it's really easy to use unlike Drupal, which is a nightmare to use if you have limited experience with web development or CMSs. Um, this is a breeze. Like I got probably this entire site. I, I could have made like the structure of the site in two minutes if I didn't have to put in this information on each page. So it's just, it's super easy. Um, some things that I like about hacks, uh, it's really easy, like I said, to add, remove, and edit pages. Initially setting up is a breeze. Basically, the only thing that it asks you for is to name the site and everything else is free, free game. Um, you don't need coding experience, plenty of customization options. I mean, you couldn't tell from the site that I made because uh, it's just a blank white page, but uh, there are plenty of customization options depending on how deep you really want to go into this. Um, and like I, like I said, it can be whatever you make it. Um, if you really just put time into it, then you can, you can really build something nice with such a simple little um, website development tool. Um, the bad, uh, I would say Text formatting is a little weird, um, especially if you don't know uh, CSS. It's kind of strange if you don't know how like headings work, but it's it's not too bad. Um, and it, it can be a little oversimplified. Like there aren't too many options for customization, um, just like readily available. You kind of have to delve a little deeper in order to um in order to really run with this and uh it's easy to throw up but not as not as easy to make it look nice so if it was a little easier to add all of the the good stuff that makes a site look nice then i think it would benefit from that and then i want to talk about swagger a little bit if you remember the video I made on website auditing, 
Um, that's kind of what Swagger does, but more, more just feedback and um, in, in a visual, uh, it gives you a visual outline of how your site's coming along. So I hope you were able to learn something about hacks, hack CMS, a um, little bit of the good and bad about it, um, why it's a little different from other content management systems, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.